We call it Sidecar. Last year, Apple announced Sidecar, a feature which allows you to connect your iPad to your Mac as a secondary display. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the most of it. This is TechSpecs YT, and let's get started. Okay, so to connect your iPad to use as a secondary display with your iMac, you first need to go into the menu bar on the top right of your iMac's display. Here, you will find the iPad icon or the AirPlay icon. And from here, you go and select the iPad that you would like to use. After doing so, your iPad should then turn into a secondary display for your iMac. If the AirPlay icon doesn't show in your menu bar, go into System Preferences, Displays, and tick Show Mirroring Options. This will then add the icon to your menu bar. Before we continue, you need to know where your secondary display is in relation to your iMac display. To find this, go into System Preferences, Displays, then Arrangements, and use the handy arrangement tool to move your iPad to where it would be comfortable to use. Okay, so now we have that sorted, we can get into how you move Windows from your iMac to your iPad. And it's relatively simple. All you have to do is move your mouse to the top of the window that you want to move, and hold on it, and drag it down to your iPad's display. Now, if it's a big window, it will not resize automatically, as you can see, I can still move it around and stuff. So you can press the green resize button to make it full screen on the iPad. Another way that you can move windows from your iMac's display to your iPad's display is by using the green resize button. All you have to do is hover over it and select move to and then your iPad. After selecting this, a perfectly sized version of the window will move to your iPad, which is better as there aren't any cutoffs. To interact with this window that you've moved to your iPad, you simply move your mouse to wherever you have put your iPad in relation to your Mac, and you can continue using it as you would your normal iMac display. So you can uh, click on things, scroll, you can right click, and all the usual stuff. Okay, so the next thing you might find confusing are all of these icons on the side and on the bottom of your iPad when you use Sidecar. Going down from the side, you have these two icons here, both of which will toggle the dock or the menu bar. So the top one's the menu bar when you're in full screen. It shows it and hides it. And the bottom one is the dock and it moves it from your iMac to your iPad. So you can, you know, use it down here and then move it back up. The next four are the Command, Option, Control, and Shift keys. These are essentially just extensions of the ones on your keyboard, and you can hold it down to use it or double tap it to lock it. And I never use these, but they could be useful. Down here on the bottom, you have the Undo button, so you can go back on certain apps. The next one is a keyboard, which is an on-screen keyboard. You can, you know, swipe on it like you would the iPhone one and move it about and you can toggle it on or off and this bottom one just disconnects it from sidecar on the bottom you have a menu bar like you do on the MacBook Pro and uh, it basically just gives you features from whatever app you're using so back forward search you can do up here and like it will change to your bookmarks for example or new tab here just simple shortcuts that you can use so that you can go into things quickly this can be useful if you're multitasking or something like that so you can quickly change what you're doing it is a bit buggy I must say but it does work despite all of these uh, buttons and icons along the side and the bottom Apple doesn't actually let you use the iPad for touch input, so for simple scrolling, tapping, or anything along those lines. You need to use a mouse, or you can use the Apple Pencil, which we'll get into in a second. But the only gestures that Apple gives you that are actually useful is the fact that you can, uh, you know, scroll with two fingers. But even then, this, as shown here, it just about works and is really hard to do, you know. You kind of don't know what you're doing. Like I said before, you can use the Apple Pencil as a method of touch input, 
but it isn't really that good to be honest it just is a bit of an extension of the mouse and uh, the only reason that you could probably justify using it is so that you could sketch or something along those lines and uh, yeah but still it, it is just like using the mouse in pen form it is quite smooth to be honest with you like you can doodle and there isn't really much lag but uh who wants a stylus you have to get them and put them away and you lose them yuck it's still buggy for example when you go to click on things and stuff like that you can accidentally press stuff and it doesn't respond first time or anything like that and there is no right click another feature that you can use with sidecar is screen mirroring so you can mirror either your iMac to your iPad or your iPad to your iMac, which I guess could be useful, but I never really use it. Uh, to do this, you go to the menu bar on either one and you press the iPad icon and then you select mirror built-in retina display. And this will first mirror your iPad to your iMac. And uh, one of the drawbacks of this is that you get letterboxing on the sides or across the top if you go on the iPad. And to change it so it's the other way around, you go here and select the other mirror option. And as you can see, you get letterboxing on the iPad instead. And to come out of screen mirroring, all you have to do is select use a separate display. And that's it. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like down below and a subscribe would be very appreciated. This is Textworks here. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.